If you thought my valet company failed, you are wrong. We are pulling in for our fourth contract, and this is going to be one of the biggest parties ever. So we got to be on our A game, and this property is in Mexico right now. So it's pretty cool. It's right on the border of, of Texas. So very cool. It's actually a gigantic YouTuber party. So there's going to be a ton of like fancy YouTubers showing up, and it should be pretty cool. The person that owns this property just decided to throw a party, and he needed a valet company. But he told me that there is one kick to it. We have to park the cars underground, which is behind his property. Let me give you a quick look. So you got to drive back here, and then you take a right here, underground parking. So we have to park all the cars under here. That was a giant bump. But yeah, we got to go over here, open up the door. And he wants us to park all the cars underneath here, and we have to wash them too. So we have to make sure all the guests have clean cars before they leave. I don't know. He just wanted them to be happy when they got in their car. So yeah. We're going to put them under there, keep them clean, because in Mexico, there's a lot of dust flying around. So the cars get dirty very quick, and he said there's going to be a lot of fancy cars here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go get a power washer, and then we're going to put it outside there, and then we're going to clean every car that comes through this property, park it underground, and when the person wants their car, we'll give it back to them. So yeah, that's our job today, guys. If you enjoy valet videos, drop a thumbs up, and also subscribe to the channel. Those both go a far way in supporting me, and it helps me to make more valet videos. So, okay, guys, let's go wait for the first vehicle to show up. Also, I got an upgrade on the valet golf cart. Check it out. Six-seater. It's all orange. You got the upgraded rims, the bull bar. You know, the, the business is growing, so we're doing well. But, yeah, I'm going to wait for the first guest to show up. The party starts in 15 minutes. And, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Oh, oh, what was that? Oh, there's cars here. I didn't even see them pull in. But, oh, okay, we got some, some guests rolling in now, but... Oh, wow, look at this car. Where, where did they go? All right, they just ran inside. But we've got a Lamborghini, I can tell from the front there. It's a Mansory Urus. Wow, that is a fancy car. Look at this thing. Got the wide body kit, the splitter guards everywhere, and all the fancy carbon fiber parts on it. And wow, that's sweet. I like the color too. It's pretty sharp. All righty, well, let's go ahead. Let's take this around the driveway. And then, actually, we're going to go take it on the main road real quick. This thing is sweet. I want to open this thing up. See if we can get 100 miles an hour. There we go. Oh, it backfires, too. Did you hear that? Hold on. Let me go ahead and uh, let's try and accelerate a little bit so you can hear it. Oh, my gosh. That's sweet. All right, here we go. Let's open it up. All right, here we go. Wide open. Oh, there we go. That's so cool. It backfires when you let off. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and turn it around, get back to the property before we get in trouble. The interior is clean on this thing. It's bright yellow, so it definitely could get dirty. And all right, we're going to take it to the back, get it cleaned up. This is actually pretty dirty. If you can tell from the exterior, it's not it's not very shiny. So we're going to clean this thing up and make the guest happy. So all right, let's take it to the backyard, take it to the wash station here. Oh, oh, just backfired. You can't get used to that thing. Oh, wow, it's loud. All right. Let's go ahead. We're going to clean the whole vehicle. First thing I do is I power wash it. Get all the dirt off, all the stuck on dirt, all the sand. Get the rims all cleaned up. And then I walk over here. All a, It's a, like a four-in-one power washer. So I go ahead and switch the knob. Now we're on soap. So we're going to soap it all up. There we go. Walk around the whole vehicle. And let's go ahead and switch it again. Rinse. Perfect. Let's rinse off the soap. And then it's going to be shining it. You can look at the front hood there. See how it's shining the carbon fiber? Look at that. Perfect. All right, this one's good to go. Let's get it in the garage before it gets dirty. Oh, my gosh. It keeps backfiring. All right, here we go. This is a one-of-kind vehicle. I wonder what YouTuber owns this thing. All right, we got this thing parked. Let's go ahead and lock it up. Perfect. It is locked. And let's go grab that Range Rover that was there. Let's see. There might be more guests, too. Oh, wow. There's a lot of cars that showed up here. Looks like there's another Lamborghini. And then there's a G-Wagon. Whoa, look at this thing. It's a 6 by 6 all right, that's sweet. All right, let's get this Range Rover pulled around the driveway. People are just leaving their vehicles here. They don't really, you know, need to stay by them. So they just drop them off. I pick it up. Let's go ahead and take it to the back. This thing is fast. This is the supercharged SVR version of the Range Rover, I think. Just the, the fast one. I don't know. It's very loud, too. Let's go ahead. Soap it up. There we go. I'm probably going to do a little bit of a quicker job, though. That Lamborghini I spent too much time on because... We need to be able to park the guest cars on time. And there we go. All right, this one's good. Let's go ahead and take it down to the garage. Yeehaw! All right, that bump needs to get fixed. But let's back this one in a little bit spaced out from the Lamborghini because we're going to categorize everything. So let's put that other Lambo 
next to the other Lambo. And, you know, if there's another Range Rover, we'll throw that next to that one. That way, you know, they're just, they're in the spot. We know where they're at when the guests ask for the car back. So, yeah. All right, we're going to grab the Lambo next. This thing's sweet, too. It's the SVJ Coupe. So, it's, like, all open. And it's not even a convertible. It's, like, completely open. You can't put a top on it. It's, it's only a daily driver when the sun's out. You cannot drive this thing in the rain or any snow or anything like that. So, we're going to clean this one up, get the rims all shined up. There we go. This one's good to go in the garage. Send it. Oh, whoa. We just... Oh, that's not good. All right. I think it's probably fine. We just did a little bit of damage, but I don't think it's noticeable. All right. Lambo number two is good. Let's grab that G-Wagon and get it cleaned up. Okay. All of a sudden, I just hear a lot of cars. There must have been a ton of people that rolled up, and I am right. Oh, my goodness. Look at how many vehicles there are. One, two, three, four, five, six new vehicles. Oh my gosh, these people left their turn indicator on and got out of the car. This must be one good party, even this dude. But we got some new cars that rolled up. Let's go grab that first one. Looks like a Rolls Royce Wraith. This is a V12 6.6 liter engine. I know this car very well. It's a very nice vehicle. Let's go ahead and take this one to the back, get it cleaned up. There we go. But other than that, there was a Ford Raptor, which is a cool vehicle too. That one rolled up. There was a Aston Martin Vantage. Uh, what else is there? There was like a pink and blue Lamborghini. Uh, drop them down in the comments whose car you think that is. What YouTuber do you think would be driving a blue and pink Lamborghini? I know my answer. What do you guys think? But all right, Rolls Royce is good to go. Let's park this one in the garage. Here we go. Let's send it. Oh, yep, yep. Suspension's good on this. There's not a ton of cars rolling up. I think that's honestly it. He said there was only about 10 guests coming up. And, you know, obviously all the cars are packed. So there's probably 30 guests total. There we go. We got four cars down there. We got a lot more to go. So let's go grab that next vehicle, which I think is the Lamborghini. Oh, it's an STO version too. That's a sweet looking car. All right, here we go. Let's go take it around the circle driveway. This thing's quick. Oh, there we go. All right, we're pretty good at steering as well. Let's go ahead, drop it off at the wash station. Do a quick pit stop. There we go. Clean it up, shine it up. Soap, good. Tire shine, good. Pull U-turn, take it in the driveway. All right, let's take this one easy. I like this YouTuber. Here we go. Spin it around, and then the Lamborghini area is over there. So let's go ahead, try and squeeze through. Oh, don't hit the wall. All right. Oh, we just scraped the Range Rover. All right, perfect. We got five cars. Let's go grab that other one. Oh, it's a Ferrari. It's a Stradale SF90 Spider. Now, this is a unique vehicle. They're like a couple mil million that is because uh, they're hard to get so that's pretty cool that a youtuber got one of these could be a car vlogger or something i don't know let's clean this one up it's got a, a wrap on it. it looks like a matte red it's not metallic so you can see it's kind of clean already which is nice keeps the dirt off there we go take this one underneath oh this is so funny the bump we keep hitting it hey i'm just a valet man here any damage caused is the owner's expense Alrighty, we got a amg gt let's go to fire the engine up Oh, it's actually, uh, it's electric. Wait, what? It's a hybrid. There's no engine sounds right now. Okay, it must be on the hybrid mode. Let's check. Oh, yep. You can see on the, the blue indicates that it's a uh, hybrid mode. Okay, well, that's that's pretty cool. Personally, I like my gas V8 powered naturally aspirated vehicles, but, you know, that's just me. All right, this one's good to go. Let's take it underneath into the garage. Oh, there we go. All right, perfect. Also, I added a complimentary air freshener to every vehicle, so it's going to smell great. Whenever the YouTuber gets back in their vehicle, I think maybe we'll get some more valet jobs because they keep throwing parties like this. All right, let's keep this G-Wagon taken care of. This thing's been sitting here for a while, so let's go take this to the back. Looks like the party's getting going inside, too. I can hear the music. There's a pool party. There's a juice box, like little uh, juice box bar. I don't know. It's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead, pull this one around, get it underneath the garage. It's pretty cool how it's underground parking, too. It's, it's just nice. I'm sure it's definitely secure. They can't really break in unless they break the door down. Alrighty. Well, we got two more vehicles left. That Ford Raptor, which I want to check out. And then we got an Aston Martin Vantage. So, only two more to go. And then I think our job is uh, on pause for the next couple hours. Alright, let's turn this guy's indicator off. There we go. But look at the interior of this thing. They totally redesigned it. Got the shifter that folds down. Oh! Oh, that's, that's, that's ironic. The... The rock crawling beast all of a sudden appeared on the rocks. Look at this thing. It just keeps going. All right. Well, it's not our vehicle, so let's not break anything on it. But it's got the full, like, gigantic TV display. I think it's like, 
I don't know how big that is. Maybe 20 inch screen or something. It's all touch screen, digital display. There we go. This one's good to go. And yeah, it's pretty sweet. And then uh, all the speedometers and everything's all digital. So definitely a big upgrade for the Ford Raptor. And I love the front end. Look at it. I turned on the hazards for you. Check out the emblem and then also the indicators. Those are sweet. And then you turn it off, goes back to your normal daytime running lights. That's sweet. All right, let's turn that off. Let's go grab the Aston Martin and we're done for the next couple hours. All right, this one's all polished up, ready to go into the garage. And then we are done. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching today's valet video. If you want to see a part two of us giving the cars back to the YouTubers and then you'll know who owns the car, drop a thumbs up. Let's try and get a thousand likes on today's video. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.